In today's video, we're covering two of the hottest new molds to hit the market from Epic Bait Molds, the 4.3 inch Slay Bait, as well as the 4.4 inch Shatter Bait. Let's get into it. What's going on all my fellow bait chuckers out there? My name is Michael. Welcome back to the channel. I first want to start off by thanking all of you for clicking on the video today. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day to watch the videos. Uh, if you enjoy what we're doing, make sure to smack that thumbs up button. And if you are subscribed, you're going to want to make sure you have those notifications enabled because we have started doing live streams on the channel. So we appreciate everyone showing up for all of those live streams as well. So let's not waste any time. We have two brand new swim baits from epic bait molds well swim bait slash chatter bait trailer if my understanding is correctly jason started out designing the 4.4 inch shatter bait specifically as a trailer for chatter baits bladed jigs things of that nature and it sounds like once he got through the design of the 4.4 inch shatter bait, he realized he had a paddle tail swim bait there as well. So you can see it has a little bit of a smaller profile there, much more baby shad like, but it is a single paddle tail versus the shatter bait, which has some cutouts here, as well as a dual paddle tail in the back. And we'll, we'll cover each one of these one by one. All right, first up is going to be the 4.4 inch shatter bait. And you can see here it is right now paired up on a half ounce jackhammer. And the profile is just absolutely stunning. Now this is a bluegill pattern on the jackhammer and I have it paired up with a perch pattern that we did in the bait lab. And I think it turned out pretty epic. You can see this profile is fantastic for a half inch jackhammer. The tail sticks out just far enough as it needs to. And on the back, you have these two little tiny paddle tails. Now the key with a chatterbait trailer is that you really want the blade to be doing all of the work. As this blade is up front rocking back and forth, you don't want a big giant paddle tail to get in the way of that. So Jason specifically designed this to have very small paddles so you still get a little bit of the paddle action and it won't impede against the blade. And you can see as you pull it through the water, you get a lot of vibration from the blade and you still get that super tight paddle action and it's not impeding with the blade at all. And that's really what you want to be careful of. You don't want it to fight against the blade and all the vibration that it's causing up front. Now the beauty of these molds is that they each come with a hook slot delete. That's right. All you have to do is reverse the hook slot and you can make it with or without a hook slot. Here's an example of the shatter bait that has the hook slot in it. You see we have some eyes glued on there and then down below we have the hook slot. If you want to use either one of these baits rigged up as just a plain swim bait, you're going to want to use a 6 aught beast hook. It doesn't have to be a beast hook, but any 6 aught weighted swim bait hook or underspin. And the other option is to flip the hook slot over and not have a hook slot at all. And you still have the tiny hook slot in the top to help you align the hook when you put on the jackhammer. But if you're going to use it as a chatterbait trailer, you just do it like that. No need to worry about gluing eyes on it, especially if it's going to be a trailer. You'll also notice a little bit of magic in the back of the bait here. There are some diamond shaped cutouts, and this is to help that back and forth tail action to go along with the vibration of the bladed jig. Very well thought out. Really cool, something I haven't seen on a lot of swim baits today, and I think Jason really nailed a design here. This is a wonderful full bodied profile, and it looks fantastic on a half ounce jackhammer, which is what most people are gonna use. I mean, this is the industry standard, is the half ounce jackhammer, so you would, of course want the trailer to look good on that. Awesome as a chatterbait trailer, as well as just a standalone swim bait. Next up, we have the 4.3 inch sleigh bait. This is the slim down, more of a shad profile specifically here. And right now I have it paired up with a 5 aught owner flashy swimmer. Again, a little bit small. You can see the 5 aught comes a little bit further up on the hook slot than it should. A 6 aught would really be perfect for it, and that's what it's ultimately designed for. But the 5 aught works on it as well. And you'll see in the footage, you get some amazing back and forth 
tail action. It's very tight, very similar to a shad profile, and you get a nice sweeping back and forth. That fin helps it from not rotating over too much, and you also get a slight little bit of body roll in there as well. So you can run this on a swim bait hook just on its own, or you can run it here like I have it with the 5 aught owner flashy swimmer. The Gamakatsu has a 6 aught size that works really good as well. Now I've been fishing this one quite a bit already, so you can see that the eyes have fallen off, but you can make these either way, again, with a hook slot or without a hook slot. So you can glue your favorite pair of eyes on there. I'm using eight millimeters right now, even though they're designed to be used with a six millimeter eye, all I had was eight millimeters, so that's what I threw on there. So a little bit of a bulging eye, but I think the eight mils still look really, really good. You got that hook slot in the bottom to help with your hookup ratio. And of course you got that top hook slot to help guide the hook through. And it allows you to texpose the hook in the top right here. And you can see it sits just below the surface in that hook slot there. Awesome, awesome design. Now, if you don't want to fish it this way and you want to use it as a trailer, you can do that too. Flip the hook slot over, inject the mold as a hook slot delete, and then you have an awesome swim jig trailer. All right, and here we are paired up on a three quarter ounce California swim jig by Dirty Jigs. And you can see again, it is a perfect profile for a swim bait trailer. That tail sticks out past the skirt just the right amount and you get an awesome subtle kick action in the water. It's great when you're pulling it and darting it through. We have a lot of grass here on the Delta. So I like to take the California swim jig, throw it right over the top of that grass and just yank it right through. It has a nice subtle kick. It's not as wide as a Kitek would be. It gives us something a little more smaller, a little more slim, but something in more of a shad profile. And I think it is the perfect size for a swim jig trailer. All right, and that is our fishing setup for today. I'm gonna send you all back into the bait cave right now so we can make some baits and I'm gonna go try and catch some fish. I'll catch up with all y'all later on in the video. Let's go. before we jump into the baits that we're going to be making today just a reminder if you're digging the new threads baitchucking.com the links are in the description we got all of your bait chucking merch all in one place for you over there at the store so let's take a look at what i've got myself set up with today before we jump into making the dirty back shad as you can see we have the live stream set up behind us now here in the shop and this is actually a color we made on the live stream a few days ago in fact i'll put a link to that in the upper right hand corner of the screen make sure you click that subscribe button and have those notifications turned on so you're not gonna miss it every time we do go live. But right here, this is the 4.4 inch shatter bait in a motor oil mixture that we came up with that's really, really awesome. You can see it shows off color extremely well. I really love the way that these shad profiles show off the color. These baits really do rival the whip wad in terms of one of my favorites for showing off colors now because they are just awesome. This is the 4.3 inch slay bait. Also you can see showing off color extremely well. Motor oil itself is already a phenomenal color. I mean it looks like a laminate without being a laminate but you still need the right profile bait to show it off well and these do a wonderful job of that. Here's a look at another color we've made. We call this one Chubba Lubba Dub Dub. This color utilizes the Creek Chub from MF with a little bit of violet sparkle flake mixed in there and you can see it is again a phenomenal shad profile with a phenomenal shad looking color and you know i figured what better way to show off these molds than doing another great color dirty back shad so let's get into that one right now let's go ahead and throw all the colors up on the screen that you're going to need to make this bait along with us here at home first up we are going to be starting off the top layer with mf 
transparent smoke. That's a key color. We're going to be rolling with 40 drops of that. That's going to give us that nice smoke tinge that we need there in the bait. We're also going to be adding some 0.015 black flake for some texture in there as well. Now that we've got our texture laid out, we're going to set it off with some Lureworks Sparkle Violet Flake in both the 0.04 as well as the 0.015 sizes. And we're going to be doing something a little bit special to get a little bit some extra out of this sparkle flake. For the bottom half of the laminate, it's really simple. We'll be using the MF Pearl Violet along with the MF 0.008, that's the extra small silver holographic flake. Just a dash of that's really gonna help set off this pearl. And together, this combo, top bottom, makes for an amazing shad pattern. Let's get into it. Here we are, fresh cup of Plastisol, right out of the microwave. All right, first up, 40 drops, transparent smoke. All right, and we will get that stirred in, and this is gonna give us that awesome transparent smoke with just a little bit of glimmer in it there. Next up is 1 16th of the .015 black flake. That's going to give us a little bit of texture inside of the color. There we go. Looking good. Next up is one eighth of a teaspoon each of the 0.15 as well as the 0 0.040 sparkle flake. Go ahead and get all that mixed in there. And you can see to start with, we have a lot of violet flake in there. However, that's not gonna be the end result. The sparkle flake is really delicate above temperatures of 340 degrees. So we're actually going to overheat the violet sparkle flake on purpose because this is gonna give us a bunch of greens, blues, and golds in addition to the purple. And it has a really cool effect that we can use on purpose for this particular color. All right, so we've got our second cup of Plastisol ready here for the belly, and this is gonna be utilizing the MF Pearl Violet, and we're gonna start off with 100 drops. Also, this equates to one quarter tablespoon if you wanna go that route. All right, and that 100 drops is gonna give us the most amazing pearl effect here. You want to make sure you swirl it in real good and we get an amazing pearl with a violet sheen to it that's just, I don't know, it's unmatched by anything I've been able to find so far. It's one of my favorite MF colors is the pearl violet. I mean, just look at that. Beautiful. Now, with the small flake, the point zero zero eight, a little bit goes a long, long way. So we're just gonna come in here and take like half of a 16th, maybe, just, you know, a dash pretty much. And we're just gonna add that in. We use just a dash because it really is just used as an accent. It just adds just a tiny bit of sparkle here and there into the pearl violet. We don't want it to be overbearing. You can quickly go overboard with that holographic flake. So you want to be careful. You can see we have very sparse shimmers in there. And that is exactly what we want. All right, now take a look at what happens to the sparkle violet as we start to slowly overheat it. Little bits at a time. See, we're getting a little bit of blue and green. A little more, we will get it to turn gold. Just you watch. All right. And this is right about where we want to be. We have a little bit of green, blue, and gold mixed in there. Awesome stuff. All just from overheating the plastic. And this will gradually change the more we reheat it for the next couple shoots as well. So, awesome stuff. 
Now an extra step you can also do at this stage if you want to add a little bit of that purple back in there you can sprinkle in some fresh sparkle flake and you can get some of that to stay purple. So that way you get a mixture of the purple, the blue, the green, and the gold all together. As always, don't forget to glove up. Alright, back on the left, belly on the right, dirty back shad in the brand new shatter bait, as well as the brand new sleigh bait. Oh, I can't wait. Let's see what this looks like. Here we go. Alright, that was a cold injector, so that one right there might not have come all the way through. I felt a little funky, like perhaps it got clogged and we had to push through a little bit, but the other two turned out okay, so hopefully we're alright. And here's a look at the blending block. You can see that transparent smoke really doing its job there. Such an awesome color with the reflectivity of everything there along with the pearl violet. Oh, this, this just looks so good when it's smashed together in a bait. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the 4.4 inch shatter bait first in the dirty back shad colorway. Oh, and they all came off on one side for us. Look at that. Is that not a thing of beauty? Isn't that awesome? Oof. That is going to look so good on the back of a chatterbait. Lord have mercy. This is why Dirty Back Shad is one of my favorite colors. I just love how the violet keeps that sheen all the way across the bottom of the belly. Right where the pearl violet meets the black here in the center, it almost creates its own separate lateral line just from where the transparent black seeps into the pearl and it kind of, in that black, you know, enhances that violet powder that's in there. And so you get that sweet violet bloodline right down the lateral line of the bait. And just again, with all that scale detail, that miscolored sparkle flake in there, absolutely awesome. So cool. Good stuff. That laminate did a good job of carrying all the way through the tails as well. So we got one side that's pearl, one side that has the darker with the sparkle flake and when those two flicker back there that is going to cause a whole bunch of commotion i mean there you go absolutely stunning the 4.4 inch shatter bait so awesome all right, next up is the 4.3 inch sleigh bait. Let's see if we got all three of these to come out or if that one was a misshoot. No, looks like, oh, no, yeah, we got all three of them. All right, take a look at that. Awesome. Wow, that looks so good. This color combo with this particular mold profile is uh, starting to get into the realistic category here. Whew, all we need is a fisheye on that. So awesome. And that belly is still transparent enough you can see that hook slot through there. So cool. Love the dirty back shad colorway. Oh, it looks so good in these baits. And there you go. I think you had that silver holographic eye and you got yourself a complete ensemble there. Dirty back shad. Oh, it looks so good too when the laminate blends together like that. When some of that flake dips over into that pearl. Whew. Oh. I mean, that looks like live bait. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, would you throw this? 
All right, let's take a look at round two of the shatter baits. Those turned out pretty good as well. I love it. You can see there in the tail, the violet from the uh, pearl kind of meshed in there. Awesome stuff. Such a natural looking color, especially on this profile bait. Pretty sweet. I'm happy. I think that uh, this is going to fish for sure. All right, round two of the 4.3 sleigh baits. And these are looking just as sexy as the first ones. Let's get you in close. That's the bloodline that just kind of develops on his own I was talking about. Great example of it where the pearl and the transparent black mix together. Good stuff. Such an awesome color. So cool. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for us here in the shop. Let's head on out to the boat and catch some fish. It is a hot, sweaty day out here on the Delta, 102 degrees, and I think the, I think the heat just has these fish pinned down. We got three fish on the day, not too shabby. As you can see from the footage, amazing action on both of these baits. The 4.4 shatter bait does fantastic on the chatter bait as a trailer, and the 4.3 sleigh bait is doing awesome on the underspin. All in all, it's never a bad day on the water. We have some amazing new baits. These molds look fantastic. The baits you get out of these are just, I mean, they look incredible. And I have no doubt that they are going to catch you some fish. Until next time, you all know who it is. Your friend on this end, Michael out here slow cruising these Delta Slews. Reminding you to keep on chucking. I'll get back with you.